Bye. I'm sh anyway, it's time for Neil's spiel. I love that graphic. I don't know what it is. Every time I see it, here is what's got me spieling. Take a look. I think any future administration that tried to punish people for doing the right thing, uh, I, I think, would not have the support of the American people. It's true that theoretically, a future administration could do something that I think would be very damaging. Uh, it's not likely politically that they reverse everything that we've done. So what you're saying, Mr. President, is that only you have the guts to do the right thing, and those other guys don't know a thing. Gutless, clueless, feckless, damn near godless, and only you, sir, on the side of the angels and the American people. Really? Only you have the guts to do what is right? That is assuming, of course, that bypassing Congress because you can't get your way counts as guts and freezing millions of deportations that might be in the Constitution's way proves that you are brave. And Republican Sunday reversing that? Not brave? Precisely because they're not nearly so brave? And that they're wimps anyway because they won't have the guts to follow through because the American people don't want them to follow through? Really? First, first, while we are on the subject of guts, take it from me, I have a big one. I'm talking gut. Anyway, you're, you're punting on this crocodile Dundee deportation thing of yours until after the midterms doesn't exactly strike me as Braveheart and refusing to accept any responsibility for what has been a disastrous health care law rollout doesn't sound exactly Lincoln-esque. If those in glass houses shouldn't throw stones, neither should those without stones charge the other side for lacking them. Because you're kind of saying that about people who elected them. It's not Republicans whose threats you have to fear, Mr. President. It's voters who demanded a month ago that they follow up on them. Surely you're not saying those voters lack guts. Because last time I looked, they knocked the guts out of everything you pushed. Because I saw the midterm results, and so did Katrina Pearson. But apparently, uh, either he did and he's ignoring it, Katrina, or he did and he figured, what the hell, I'm going to keep saying it. Well, from the out of the mouth of the Messiah himself, but it is interesting that he says, you know, he has the guts, no one else has the guts. But here's the thing, like you said, if he had so much guts, why did he wait until after the midterm election to pass this amnesty plan? He could have done it when he had full control of, of Congress, but he didn't, and he waited, and he continues to wait. This is the same president who is the laughing stock all over the world because he doesn't have guts. To but do he's what saying he on amnesty, right. Katrina, that it, no Republican or future administration would try to reverse this without putting an alternative in. I'm paraphrasing here because uh, he or she wouldn't have the guts to do it and that it's already done. What's done is an executive order, a piece of paper uh, that, right. that, that it stands on shaky constitutional grounds. It, it would take guts to let that go through, I think, not, not to challenge it. Well, absolutely. I mean, we seem to forget the fact that there are already immigration laws on the books. Our system isn't broken. It's ignored. So it's not going to take too much guts to go out to the American public and say, hey, you know what? We're going to do what's already been passed by the Congress, which is constitutional, and that is to secure the border and then reform the mechanisms in place that we have that have been ignored for so long. Where do you think this ultimately goes, though? If he's saying, because he was sort of holding out there the idea, well, Republicans will never really want to repeal my health care law because they have nothing in its place, even though there were at least four different bills. You could go ahead and, and argue whether they were good bills or not. They did have other me measures. Um, but he's more or less saying they're, they're, they're far more comfortable, that is, Republicans uh, yammering on about me than doing anything on their own. How do Republicans avoid that label? Well, I think it's going to show when the 2016 primaries kick off. There are plans out there. There are Republicans who have good, sound health care policy to put out there for the American public to choose. What he's used to are the squishy establishment Republicans who just want to capitulate. He's not looking at the Republicans on the scene today that we've seen out there who just whipped his policy in the last election cycle. These are the Republicans that are going to step up and they're going to lead with good, sound policy and they're going to get rid of all of his unconstitutional actions. All right. Um, the whole Braveheart thing gets a little risky to me. Just to, I don't know. Just, that's just me. Katrina, thank you very, very much. Katrina Pearson.